Hey, Big Tree. It's Wednesday. We're all at home for our at-home lesson. I'm going to teach you how to juggle. Now, Mr. Zinsky and I were having a little competition, so I'm going to do this before he gets a chance to do it, and hopefully he won't publish it, but I'm going to find myself objects to juggle at home. So you're going to go right now, go find yourself three objects. Once you find three objects to juggle at home, remember it has to be safe. If you drop it, it's not going to break. If you hit the ceiling, it's not going to dent the wall. You're not going to hurt the dog if the ball or the object falls on your foot. Everybody will be safe. So be smart when you're choosing an object. If you're saying to yourself, hey, I don't have anything. I have nothing. Take a piece of paper, ball up a piece of paper, take off your sock, ball up your sock. You have yourself an object to juggle. Look at, I found myself here. This guy right here, It's uh, it reminds me of a person that I work with. It kind of looks like Mr. Zinsky. I think this guy's name is, does anybody know his name? Uh, Dopey, I think his name is Dopey. Um, so these are my objects that I'm going to juggle. Step one of juggling, I'm gonna choose one object. I'm gonna choose this thing right here. It's a yellow bean bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one hand and I'm gonna to toss and I'm gonna to catch. I'm gonna to toss and I'm gonna to catch. When I'm tossing and catching, I'm trying my hardest not to stare at the object. If you need to stare at the object, that's okay. You wanna start getting the feel of tossing and catching with your palm towards the ceiling, tossing and catching with one hand. Once you feel comfortable, take your eyes and focus on something other than the ball that you're tossing and catching. Focus on something else. That, my friends, is called peripheral vision. Check that out. My eyes are looking straight ahead, and yet I see on the edge vision, my edge vision, I see things that are happening. Peripheral vision. Peripheral vision. I'm tossing, I'm catching, and I'm staring right at you. I'm staring at the camera. And yet my edge vision is helping me catch my object, even though I'm not staring at it. So that's step one. I'm gonna try to go through the entire alphabet. A, B, C. D, all the way through Z. Once I get to Z, I'm gonna try my other hand. A, B, all the way through Z. Once you could do that without staring at the ball, you're ready for step two. Now that might take you all day. It might take you half an hour to do that. Tossing and catching while not looking at your object. That's okay. Kindergarten, first grade, fifth grade, we're all at a different level. Mr. Zinsky, Mr. Scudder, we're all at a different level of juggling. Our goal will be to grab two objects by the end of this and be able to juggle a little bit with two objects. So step one, toss and catch, same hand, up and down. Don't stare at it. Step two, I'm going to toss a rainbow. Ball's going to transfer up in the air and land in the other hand, all right? And once again, I could start off by staring at the object. I stare at it. Hand-eye coordination, hand-eye coordination. My eyes are telling my hands where to go. Once I feel comfortable, my eyes will be taken off my object. You're gonna drop the ball, I drop the ball. You're gonna take your eyes off the object and you're tossing back and forth. Whoops, let's try something else. I'm gonna try a white ball, toss, catch, toss, and catch. Keep your eyes focused on something other than your object, all right? Let's take Mr. Zinsky, I mean, Dopey. You're gonna see Dopey do this. I got, I'm gonna juggle two objects. This is step three. Once you're ready for this, step two is back and forth, back and forth with one object. Step three, when you're ready, I'm gonna, it's like a magic trick. Dopey will go into this hand right here. It's gonna switch hands and this yellow ball will go into this hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to toss the objects in an X. I'll toss Dopey first, he'll come up. And as he's coming down, when he's about to come down, I'm gonna to toss the next object in the air. I'll catch Dopey in this hand, this ball will travel up in the air, and I'll catch it here. It's gonna be a toss, toss, catch, catch. Watch very carefully, it's a toss, toss, catch, catch. Ooh, watch once again. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Got it? This 
is an expert level. This is starting to get to the point of where we're juggling. Toss, toss, catch, catch. I'm staring at the objects right now. I am staring at it because I need to see the balls while they're in flight, okay? Once I'm comfortable, I'm gonna stare at something else. Toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch. Notice, I'm tossing the balls up in the air in an X formation, an X formation. Some of you are, are you're gonna wanna do this. Toss, hand over, toss, hand it over, toss, hand it over. That's not, that's kind of juggling. They call it the, the shower juggle, but we are trying to do a cascade. This is hand-eye coordination. We're getting ready for the circus. Circus, toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch. You could say it. It's a little rhythm. Give that a shot. That's step three. If you could do that, you are ready for our class. You are ready to show it off. Next week, not this week, next week, we're going to take the first five minutes of class and we're going to be able to show off our juggling skills. If you're ready, if you're not comfortable, you don't have to show off your skills at all. Maybe you could take one hand and toss. Whoa, it's stuck. I'm, I'm still learning myself. Toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch. And then eventually you could start adding more tosses and catches with one hand if you're there. And then our end game, our goal is eventually juggling three objects. This is like, not next week, this is like a month from now. Some people might be motivated to do some research and say, Mr. Scudder, Mr. Zinsky, I'm ready for the next step. And you wanna to progress to three ball juggling, so we're ready for the circus. Toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch, toss. Oh my goodness gracious, are you at that point? Take your time, go nice and slow. You need to go step one, step one, toss and catch using peripheral vision, right? Don't stare at your object. Have fun. Don't break anything in the house. Use objects that are soft, all right? And then if we have class Thursday or Friday, we're gonna be doing some juggling. Next week, those people that are ready to show off their juggling skills, the first five minutes of class, you're gonna have an opportunity to do so. Have fun. You guys will be able to vote. Who's a better juggler? Mr. Zinsky or Mr. Scudder. That's the cuckoo clock. It's time to go. See ya.